Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a general reading for your overall energies. And this reading is intended for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Also Venus, signs of Pisces. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can go ahead and book your reading from there. Let's jump in right away. Let's see what's coming your way. I want to say clarity here, but there is actually like an unclear situation where you're dealing with something that does, didn't really had much clarity. There's a pathway opening here, unexpected pathway. So I feel like that, um, whatever that question in your mind, that situation that you don't really get the clarity that you're looking for. The answers will come through about it, okay? And I see very light energies in your heart space. So the thing is, your heart, if you're feeling like frustration or maybe you had been going through a frustrated timeline, that is actually coming to an end, okay? That's like a final for you here. Okay. Another thing, um, yeah, I see that there's a legal contract here showing up maybe in a couple weeks or so. There's a pathway opening here for you. This can be like an offer, a job offer, maybe an opportunity coming from outside of your comfort zone, your current area, which is a clear contract though. It is a very good positive things happening for you here. By the way, before I forget, uh, let me remind you that don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. And uh, it's a free way to support the channel if you're enjoying these, okay? Also, I see here there is like an astronaut type of a person. Like initially I saw like a um, person when I look at it far away, a silhouette of a man inside of this like, um, what's that big thing they're wearing? It's um, like a balloon. <laughs> it's not a balloon, it's like a glass, um, like um, not exactly glass as well. Anyways, uh, someone isolated basically here that you're connecting with, okay? I see that you're in front of their face right there. Maybe like there is actually when I pull it closer, it looks like a chair. This can be someone sitting on a higher position, higher chair, um, which is like a um, symbol for um, maybe authority. And you are standing right in front of that authority what happens here is this offer that you're going to be getting may be something that will put you in front of a higher positive authority figure here uh which can be like um working maybe as um like a partner with them or maybe helping them it can be that kind of like a hard situation that you're going to actually be facing the first of all, you might have like an interview because they're not really letting you inside of their current area. But I see a number eight here, which is the symbol of eternity when, and also the, the number of material satisfaction. So when you get it, it has like a behind it, there is actually financial security as well. Okay, there's going to be financial satisfaction behind this deal. Mm -hmm. There's an I right here so like um this can be an environment that they have like cameras watching over you um or maybe overall that your job is going to be watching over people now i'm thinking maybe you're going to be like um you're climbing up a higher position because you're gonna be in control of masses another thing with the eye is eye is raw there are two eyes actually the one is the eye of ra the eye the other one is the eye of horus eye of ra ra is known as the sun god the creator energy which is when you look at it in a logical perspective without sun nothing exists on this planet earth okay that's why sun is actually a really powerful um source for us so not only accepting it as a god but it's a way to create things another thing coming to me is like in the light in the light create things in the light rather than maybe like stay, staying up all night um like use your during time like the the light time the sun energy in order to create the things you want that daytime you have 
um, maybe writing your down your goals early in the morning when the sun is rising can be that kind of energy but also overall working under with sun as well grounding your energy maybe there is now uh, I'm not really knowledgeable about that but some scientists suggest that like looking up in the sun when it's coming um, in the morning can actually you know boost our metabolism and stuff like that maybe that kind of thing but overall this is actually Horus is for protection sun is for create creation so something is coming forward here for you the eye can be your actually knowledge you're gaining knowledge and applying that to the life and creating this very optimistic new future for yourself and it's a very strong eye also looks like a fish which is the symbol of money so um i also indicate seeing things i see an anchor here grounding yourself to a new environment maybe starting a new job like i said this can be a new relationship as well i'm going to pull some love messages and we're going to see what's coming through so being aware of the surroundings is the message overall also you are the fish as a pisces and i think the high priestess is pisces intuitive knowledge as well this is maybe even the eyes that you see also using the eyes that you don't see with the third eye the intuitive guidance that will also be like guiding for you another thing let me show you actually the sun the symbol of sun looks like an eye as well so um like there there i feel like there's some hidden things they're going to be also revealed to you as well here okay maybe a hidden information or someone i see a woman holding the clock here this can be someone who has maybe limited time to get things done this can be your energy as well uh, and uh, there is also i see like this kind of reminds me of julius caesar with the long nose with the the flower that olive leaf crown around his head and he's reading this um laws or regulations this can be like um there are two people that you're dealing with okay they might be one of them is a ruler the other one is the organizer and you might be dealing with those two people i see a roof here a roof actually can be like a new opportunity to change your living in quarters environment buying a new house and um, these two people can be the ones that are actually trying to find that space for you or help you get that space maybe giving you the information that you're needing and there's that kind of like a tight timeline happening here okay i feel like they're gonna be all resolving very soon i see a letter a upside down here kind of looks like b as well and i flip it i see a letter s also number five five means playfulness and travel okay mm, this can be someone that you're going to be traveling with or uh, maybe like someone that will help you like um, cultivate that constructive freedom and start taking like steps towards this free the moments of freedom for um and enjoying that because i see like a bunny smiling here so and there is also a pathway opening uh, you can see there's a crowd at the end of this pathway this can be like i feel like because um the crowd is a light crowd can be like a celebration opportunity okay there are shooting stars here there are many of them there's this face is smiling here i feel like you're gonna be receiving this big thing is your desire coming your way the other small ones are maybe the people surrounding you your environment their desire is also coming to life and you're going to be experiencing them as well there is another legal paper towards the end of the month appearing here this can be another contract there's a rose right there which symbolizes love so this can be something that you would love to be a part of that you would enjoy a lot okay Let's jump into your plate. Now, if you have a question, desire, and intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There's a heavy energy here. You can see how heavy the energy is. There's a hill right there. Something is hidden under it. Hill can be a challenge that you're taking on. Okay, maybe there is something in your mind that you feel like you need to take things in your hand. Your desire coming slowly there's a second desire also here you can see but that one has some time the first one is coming right now but the other one is like has its own timeline and it's also happening here as well i see a man's face here you can see like oh grumpy grumpy like in your heart maybe this can be someone you're dealing with i see the roof here it can be about like a housing situation as well or 
maybe an environment that you feel like home and this person is messing it up okay seems like though they're actually sliding down they like it or not just sliding out of your life slowly okay so this can be also um, someone i see a dog right there uh, maybe help of a person who's loyal to you you are changing that and you see your desire just picks up when the help comes through so if you have people to help you out and you can share go ahead and share that because they can give you a hand so you can actually uh, eliminate that situation kind of looks like a pac-man here by the way and going towards that little gold pieces that they're picking up so this can be someone maybe blocking your inspiration you have inspiration and you're not really following it someone that is maybe raining on your parade and seems like they're gonna be moving out of your you know sight which will give you the chance so you can pick up the pace and start grabbing those little golds that nuggets it can be financial security it can be the things um or maybe following that your heart's desire doing the things that you would love to do this can be someone raining like i said a debbie downer maybe raining on your parade making you feel bad about things and it looks like a male figure to me and they're going leaving the scenery so you can actually um become much stronger okay and uh, to move forward with the things that you want but there's still some mountain in front of you but i'm not going to say this is a negative mountain this can be even like a learning curve that maybe you're stepping into a new thing area of work that you're learning now it might take a while to figure the things out but it's like a it's a mysterious environment but there's still sun is shining behind the mountains so you're going to be initially like um taking maybe some steps towards it is going to be a little hard but when you actually overcome that mountain you, there's a crescent moon here there's going to be accomplishment coming for you okay this can be like a legal accomplishment maybe this is like a new thing a new company that you're starting to work with has a different system that you're learning or this can be like a new relationship that you're starting that the person that you're with can be something outside of your comfort zone but in a good way because sometimes not sometimes most of the times our mind is actually goes for the familiar thing and if the familiar is drama you go for that and now maybe you are actually saying like i don't want drama i want the, the calm loving peaceful environment and uh, your mind might be having a hard time to embrace that okay that might be the mountain the challenge in front of you and um it seems like it's not going to take too long to adapt to it but you will adapt to it eventually but you might have to maybe start getting used i feel like uh, getting used to comfort is easier for human beings but being aware of that is important as well because sometimes like people tend to say like oh okay the thing is was the person was a really good person but it was so boring sometimes uh, that uh, we need to understand boring is good okay drama is bad boring is good okay all right we have an ace of um knight of swords this can be a libra gemini aquarius energy uh, this is not the love one the love one i'm gonna do with a different deck this is actually overall your energies you have a bright idea coming through and you're jumping into it really fast i have the lovers card came forward like i said this is not the love reading but this can be actually like coming together with someone like-minded and like having that soulmate connection that peaceful a connection together this can even be like a new opportunity a job opportunity that you're going to start working with which is going to align with your soul purpose two of pentacles indicates that i want to say that this is uh maybe like working too hard to make things happening maybe you have been working too hard to make things happen in prior projects in your life but at this time, it seems like you're going to balance it out so perfectly. You're going to come to realize you don't have to work that hard anymore, okay? The things can flow easily to you and you can take care of the everything in a very calm way. And we have here the King of Cups. King of Cups can be actually, when you exert less energy, the things are going to come easily, okay? It sounds a little counterproductive, but it seems like um like the more the better you feel the better you attract we have the king of cups can be cancer pisces scorpio energy again 
Maybe you are becoming this powerful authority, you're getting to a position to offer things to people. Or this can be again a water sign, maybe coming to you with like something emotionally fulfilling. Okay. We have six of pentacles from uh like you are actually you see this is actually about karma giving and receiving simultaneously so whatever that you're putting out there you're going to get the chance to receive it back i don't see the sixth pentacle here one two three four five six How, okay this is like this one is right there and we have the scale here it's all about balance okay you're balancing out maybe you're feeling like you were you're having giving too much not receiving enough the universe will give you the chance to balance it out, okay? You're going to be receiving all that energy that you're giving to the people, to your work. Then I feel like it's going to be about like money as well. They're dealing with pentacles here. So you're going to get some sort of like an upgrade, maybe a bonus happening. I have the devil here. Devil usually, today I was listening to, I don't remember the name of the channel, but they, satorically they explain the meanings of the cards and I love that. Devil doesn't mean that this is like a negative thing. Everything is going down. It doesn't mean that. Actually, tower means that. But yeah, the devil means that there is a challenge in front of you that you are maybe having struggling about like uh, directing your mind in a positive course. You might be obsessed about certain things or maybe addiction is taking over you addiction to negative thinking taking over you basically this is a challenge that you're overcoming because she's actually here with a priest like they are um hmm. they make it seem like there's a temptation here by holding hands temptations maybe that you're dealing with here but it's also the sign that you're overcoming that that's going to be a thing of the past very soon you showed up as a high priestess we said She's an extremely knowledgeable woman and also highly intuitive. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. It doesn't matter that we all have feminine sides of this intuitive guidance. It seems like you're going to overcome this like um, mind chatter by focusing more of your intuitive guidance, your gut feeling, okay, where it leads you uh, to the the situations it leads you maybe even um you know you're going to change your course from one thing to another by listening to your intuition and that will actually help you a lot along the way okay this is your energy by the way you're showing up here with your feminine side feminine is a creative side so you can pick up some creative hobbies and stuff like that that can be helpful to cultivate that energy within you okay Let's see what's the love message coming forward here. If you have anyone in your life, you can focus on them. And maybe the messages will relate to them. Or maybe if you want someone new. Okay, we have double Knight of Swords here. So this is a person of interest in your life. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, okay? And they're galloping. The horse is like running so fast. So this person is coming towards you really fast, okay? But I feel like for a source here, you are in a resting position. You're not really moving, budging, okay? They're coming really fast. They want to talk to you, but you have put yourself in a mode of meditation, resting. Maybe this can be someone that you have been through with a lot of drama and you don't want to deal with their things anymore, okay? And like the cards actually show up as we have the world card because you have a new beginning here, you're completing a cycle. Maybe this can be someone extremely dramatic because um, air signs tend to be dramatic with the way they do things, not with their, their emotional. It doesn't mean that they're emotional. But the way they actually do things are kind of like, um, they like to show things off, their intelligence and stuff like that. And maybe you're done with that. That's why you're closing a cycle here and opening up a new one. Of the Scorpio energy, I have a death card here. You are actually leaving an establishment behind. That's what I said, like now finally the emperor comes through. Maybe you have been dealing certain type of people all your life long. And um, now you're making your mind up and saying, you know what? Okay, you're good with communicating your thoughts, but I want to have feelings as well. I want someone to actually uh, initiate the things and uh, maybe even bring in a commitment. And as soon as you let it go, I see the emperor, Aries energy, someone who's going to be coming forward with that, okay, with that commitment energy here. They want to have something for the long term. All right, let's see here. We have 
is astrological cards okay i want to pull two because this shuffled this came forth with another sign but i don't remember which one it is we have the 12th house i clear negative karma which is beautiful we have the mercury my words are my greatest messenger so whatever that is coming out of your mouth listen to yourself that will help you understand what's going on in your body in your mind okay if you're saying that i could never receive such such and that person never would, would never calls me whatever it is coming out of your mouth maybe write it down and analyze it why do you think that way why do you speak that way what's the reason behind it because everything is possible for humans as you can see like um even if like i say lottery is i see that like this is coming out of my mouth because lottery gambling these kind of things are an extreme no-no in my family generational the curse we have there but that's why i don't believe in that i don't think that is possible but it doesn't mean that it's possible for somebody else it's not possible for somebody else okay i just say that to make it impossible for myself because i don't want to be depending on that that's a karma right there but if you feel like you can make it happen through it and you force yourself to believe it just watch what's coming out of your mouth and then turn it around and repeat that as an affirmation okay let's see for example we have universal bank there you go everything you need to thrive is already here so ask and you shall be receiving whatever that you're asking universe is ready to give it to you let's see what your chakra card is telling us you have any blocked chakras you have you need to align with what and i'm i decided to actually po to post some chakra messages uh, to see we have the protection here with the third eye chakra coming forward so you can see it from the community tab uh, the information what it is and maybe even if i find some like healing meditations i can post them light element om the third eye chakra and protection is right there here for you i release the need for the art for armor and protection as i recognize that i am always guided and safe the more i let go of fear and mistrust the more protected i feel it is safe for me to choose love and possibility over fear and hopelessness I trust in my light, the divine light, and the wisdom that ensues from the alchemy of spirit and matter. All is perfect just as it is, okay? So this is basically like a protection message for you. It is telling you that you're always being guided and protected divinely, okay? If you're feeling, if you're not feeling safe, okay? But yeah, if you're not feeling safe, talking to a professional can also help and also authorities as well if you're in like a really negative position situation it's important this is actually a message from your higher self your loved ones your guidance the message is never forget you're loved love never dies okay number nine is actually enlightenment so whatever that you're going through it is kind of blue as well we have like the dark purple here third eye so uh it seems like here whatever that you're going through right now it is actually clearing negative karma and um, bringing more information and enlightenment into your life and it is coming to an end very soon as well and it's so close you're close to experiencing that love and possibility or fear and hopelessness okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all the magical day bye